Association. In 2017, the previous Special Rapporteur on the Situation of Human Rights in the Islamic Republic of Iran, the late Asma Jahangir, said in a report to the UN General Assembly that Quote, between July and August 1988, thousands of political prisoners, men, women and teenagers were reportedly executed pursuant to a fatwa issued by the then Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khomeini. A three-man commission was reportedly created with a view to determining who should be executed. The bodies of the victims were reportedly buried in unmarked graves and their families never informed of their whereabouts. End of quote. Since that date, this massacre has been recognized by many officials in Iran who have even defended it. This is why mothers, fathers, children and other members of the victims' families expect from the High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michel Bachelet, to launch an independent international inquiry to know the truth about their loved ones and to see the authors of this massacre brought to justice. 31 years after the 1988 mass extra-legal executions of political prisoners in Iran, we believe that until the full truth is unveiled and the perpetrators are held to account for their crimes, there will be no incentive for the government of Iran to change its policy on human rights. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent, ladies and gentlemen. This was the last uh, uh, speaker we could accommodate for today. I've been informed that a number of delegations uh, wished to exercise their right of reply. I thus give the floor to China.